It's Trenna from John's Furniture Repair, and I'm in here with this beautiful Morris style rocker, and we're just doing a beautiful uh, refinish back to the original. It's really dirty and worn, and the finish is pretty much worn right off in a lot of places. So we're just gonna strip it down and put a nice new finish and get it back to a beautiful state. All right, let's get to work. After growing up in my dad's restoration shop and learning everything he knows, I'm continuing on with the business in my own shop. And after 25 years, I can truly say, I love this job and I just have to share it with you. Whether it's a priceless 300 year old hand carved piece of history or just an ordinary table or dresser, I pour my heart into each and every piece a customer brings me. I'm Trenna and this is John's Furniture Repair. All right, so I am not taking this chair apart like I usually do for stripping. It's super solid and there's no need to uh, take all these joints apart. They're doing really well. And we're gonna be doing a really uh, sympathetic restoration. We're gonna be using methyl hydrate to remove this shellac based finish. I did a little test area on the back of one of these rockers here and you can see uh, I took it off nicely. That's just uh, denatured alcohol or methyl hydrate. So basically I'm just going to be using a number one steel wool and scrubbing the finish off. This is mostly dirty um, and the finish is barely even there anymore, so we really don't need to use stripper to get everything off. It would be a tiny bit faster, but I'm also looking to keep as much of the uh, old age and patina of the wood intact and not really take off a lot of color. We're not gonna be doing any heavy sanding. It's just looking a little rough and uh, it's in really good shape, so we don't need to go crazy on it. We just need to clean it, give it a light sand. It might need some stain. We'll see when we get it all cleaned up. But it's also darkened too because of a lot of the dirt that's accumulated. So the original color is probably lighter. And then I'm gonna do a really nice polish on the lacquer after, just to give it a really nice soft glow. More of an antique finish, in my opinion, than just a, a spray from the gun finish, which is totally beautiful too. And I don't really care if I get all of the old shellac off. I just mostly want to clean off 
the color and uh, all the dirt as well. So we'll just keep going on the entire chair. And I do see some areas that I'll need to do a little bit more work. I don't like stuff like this where there's big chunks missing along this front edge. You can catch your pants or your whatever you're wearing on there. That's not nice. Um, and there are some scrapes from maybe a previous refinish job. I will cross grain here, so I'll need to straighten those out. They're on these pieces. Don't like those, they don't look professional. So I'll be kind of picking and choosing what areas that we're gonna repair and uh, that light is really bright. <laughs> LEDs are killing me. <laughs> Hello, back from heaven. Uh, kind of picking and choosing where we're gonna do a little bit of repair and extra prep kind of thing, but for the most part, I'm gonna try to keep all the little cute nicks and dings that keep it nice and aged looking because it is an old chair. I don't know if it's an actual Morris, but it's certainly Morris style. So, let me get to scrubbing and stop talking. So there it is, all stripped uh, with the alcohol cleaned up. And I've noticed there's a lot of these water spots everywhere. Those dark spots that you see are mineral stains. They're on the arms as well. So I've got a little bit of a, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of oxalic acid on one spot in an inconspicuous spot to see if it has an effect. If it does, then I'll put it all over the chair. If it doesn't, I'm not gonna bother making the mess because you do have to rinse it off and it makes a big watery mess everywhere. And I'd probably um, just take it outside and either spray it with a hose or just rinse it with the bucket a bunch of times. So I just wanna make sure that that's gonna be worth my time first. So I'm gonna choose a little spot and just very carefully apply it in the one spot to see if the mark will come up. Other thing I'm gonna do while I'm waiting for my water to boil is get all the little places that I don't like the marks. These ones up here, all these cross grain scratches from something. I don't know if it's a pre previous refinishing job or if it was just damage from life. 
stuff like that. That big cross grain scratch there. Um, really big chunks of wood like that and that. I'm gonna go around and fill. And then we're just gonna be doing a light sand. So um, until I really know what I'm doing with the oxalic, I can't do a bunch of sanding, but I'm gonna start taking care of those areas. And uh, yeah, it's still good and sturdy, so I don't wanna take it apart at all. But there's lots of those little marks everywhere, so I'll get to doing that. Okay, so the best way that I've found to get rid of these is just doing uh, a light sanding with the sander first with a very fine paper. This is just 180. And um, then I'm gonna always hand sand after power sanding, I always do. Anyways, um, that's gonna get rid of all these really bad cross grain scratches from whatever happened here first. So I did it on these guys here. And I'm just gonna try to do it only where I need to. Um, and obviously this area is damaged the worst. And then also, um, it'll need it pretty heavy on the arms as well because they're really stained and worn through and scratched and all that kind of jazz. So I've got my oxalic acid mixed here. Just gonna grab some gloves and I'm gonna do this whole leg right here with all these spots. It's easier than just doing one little spot and uh, see how it looks. And you'll probably be able to tell right away if it's gonna work, but we'll let it dry. Sometimes it works right away, sometimes it takes some time. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes and it's all dried up and crystallized. It does look a little bit lighter. I'm just gonna wash it away here with some water, but as soon as I put the water on, it's back to where it was, so didn't really do much. Now, I did not open up the grain before I used the oxalic, so I'm gonna do one more test where um, I give this a sand and open up the grain and hit it again. If that doesn't make any difference, then these are part of the character of the chair. So um, I'm gonna do it on the arm because I've got to sand that pretty heavily anyways. All right, so I've got it sanded. There's a few dark marks there. You can still see, so I'm just gonna do the whole arm. Very carefully, not to touch anything else. And that means the edge as well. Oh, okay, so it's dried for about an hour. Let's wipe it off and see. I don't think it's done much. Nope. So I won't bother making a mess of the whole chair because it's not doing anything. So we'll just be sanding and these marks will just be part of the age. And we are gonna be putting a stain on a little bit tiny darker, back to the original color. And that'll help hide it a little bit. Okay, so we've got this thing all stained up and it's ready to go and um, all the little putty spots are sanded and everything. So I'm going to be using uh, San Miguel stain. This is a stain we've been using on a couple pieces recently. And it's that really nice Mission Oak color. So I'll just do a little area so you can see what it looks like on this front panel here. And then we'll stain the whole thing. So everything is hand sanded to 180. we go. Really nice. That is pretty crazy, that grain, hey? Anyways, we'll get on the rest of the chair and 
get it off to the booth. So we've got three coats of lacquer on the chair and it's looking pretty good. Um, and you could be done here and that would be just fine. But I just want to soften the finish a little. And by that I mean uh, soften the sheen and the feel of the finish into a little bit more of a warm, soft, rubbed look. So I'm going to be using um, just a red scotch pad here with some beeswax, Howard's beeswax polish. And I'm just going to be rubbing down the finish and giving it a little bit of a lower luster and a really soft look. Kind of like, you know, where your hands touch all the time and some old nice antiques you can see where, you know, the wear is. It's really soft and worn and uh, has a really beautiful kind of patina. So I just, I know that's not gonna be 
um, exactly what we end up with here, but I wanna kind of replicate that with the sheen on the finish. So I'm just gonna get my beeswax going here onto a piece of paper. I usually just like to put a little pile of it down and dip my scotch pad in it. Extra, I just put it back anyway. So, I'm just going to be rubbing and you can see we still have our marks from the water stains that we never were able to get out, and that is just fine. And especially on the arms, I just want to really make sure I do a nice, soft, straight scratch pattern. Just like when I'm uh, polishing. And that's just gonna cut down that sheen and when the beeswax uh, dries, it'll be a really beautiful look. Which you're gonna have to wait till tomorrow to see, slash in two minutes on this video. I have to wait till tomorrow, not you. <laughs> so that's about all I'll do there. And I'll just wipe away the excess because this is, you know, got a lot of lacquer on it, doesn't need any extra moisture, but we're just going for that little polished look. There, so once that's dry, but you can already see how so uh, a little bit softer it's looking compared to what we started with, that higher sheen there. That one compared to that one. It's a little bit more of a worn look. So I'm gonna do that on the entire chair and then let it dry overnight. And we'll give it a little bit of a, a polish with a clean cloth and it'll be done. And there it is, all finished up. I gave it a nice soft buff this morning just to polish that wax a little bit. And it's got a beautiful soft sheen going everywhere now. You can see that. And it's really, really nice and smooth. Feels like butter. So you can still see those spots. And they're not offending me. So they're just part of the chair now. Part of what happened. And the customer has the seat Sorry, that light's catching in here. So yeah, thanks for joining us on this one, guys. It was a nice little short uh, straight refinish, no repairs. And uh, it's ready to go back and be used for Christmas. I don't have the seat. The customer is uh, getting it refinished or reupholstered. So that'll look nice on there too. And, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this restoration, check out our other ones. A lot more in-depth videos than this one, but this was just kind of a nice, quick uh, refinish on a really classic Morris-style rocker. Uh, if you want to support the channel in a bigger way, you can buy me a coffee. The link is in the description below. Um, for those of you who do that already, thank you so much. And yeah, have a great afternoon. It's a nice sunny day outside. I hope you have one where you are too and uh, that your Christmas is coming along nicely. So cheers, see you on the next one.